The first round of the WNBA playoffs tip off tonight, and the Liberty are underdogs heading into their matchup against the defending champs, the Chicago Sky. Jenna Lemoncelli is the in-game MC for the Connecticut Sun and WNBA reporter for the New York Post. There she goes. Let's talk some basketball, Jenna, because my mama used to say, to be the best, you have to beat the best. So what do the Liberty need to do to try and beat Candace Parker and crew? Well, I mean, that is it. They need to beat the best because the Chicago Sky are coming off a title run and they've been dominant all season long. Now they've stumbled at the end of the season here, but that doesn't mean that they can't turn things around because that's exactly what they do. You mentioned that I host for the Connecticut Sun, so I won't be biased here because we're talking about a different matchup, but I've seen Candace Parker and the Sky play up close and personal, and I've seen situations where they flip the switch uh, down the stretch. So this is what this team does. They're dominant, they're great, and a player to look out for too is Kalea Cooper. She is the MVP of last year's finals there, and they're just dominant. And again, when you have Candace Parker behind you, really winning is the only option. All right. All of New York is like Candace Parker, Candace Parker, Candace Parker. We got Sabrina Ionescu, and she's been on fire, and she's one of the biggest reasons that the Liberty are even in the playoffs. So tell us about what impact that she has on this team and how can she make a difference in this series? The impact that she has on this team, Brandon, she is the cornerstone of this team. And it's hard to argue that she's having her best season yet after coming off that ankle injury that she was dealing with in 2020 and 2021 that lingered there. And what makes this matchup kind of special is that she recently told Rich Kleiman of the boardroom that she received some advice from Candace Parker herself that after a game against the Sky last season, that she knew she'd been playing her and told her to get her health right and her body right before she came out here and that's exactly what she did this season I mean she's been breaking records left and right and she's been playing great great leadership expect her to be balling out on both ends of the floor and don't count out this New York Liberty team because down the stretch here they won seven of their last 10 games in leading up to the postseason to clinch that seventh seed so don't count them out either because you know how we are in New York we're dogs out here <laughs> we are dogs out here so UNESCO Parker, we're talking about two of the biggest and brightest names in the WNBA. Yesterday, we had a chance to talk with Asia Wilson, and she has a chip on her shoulder, not just because of the Ruffles endorsement deal, but because she wants to bring a championship to Vegas. So are the Aces the team to beat, or is this just anyone's game at this point? I mean, on paper, stat-wise, of course, the Aces are the team to beat. They clinched their number one seed and home court advantage for the first round here in the postseason. But it's really anyone's game. And I say that because if you look at all of these teams, they're absolutely incredible. They've all had moments and highlights this season that have all made us question, wow, they can really make a go at it. I mean, Seattle. Don't count out a team that's led by Sue Bird, especially in her final season. They've been balling out, too, and they're a tough opponent when you get in these types of sticky situations. Then you have the Mercury, which they do worry me because they have Diana Taurasi, who's been out with that quad injury, and then Skylar Diggins, who's out for personal reasons. So they're already down two key players. So they make me nervous. But, I mean, when you go around here and we're talking about other teams, let's chat about... um, the Connecticut Sun, because as you guys know, I host for them. We said it already, and they have a chip on their shoulder, uh, Brandon, speaking of chips, because they had that incredible run in 2019, but they lost in five games against the Mystics in the finals, and then they had that back-to-back appearance early 2000. So they have a chip on their shoulder. They've been incredible. They clinched the number three seed this season, and they're ready to run it back. This is kind of, I hate to say a redemption season for them, but they have AT, who's been balling like crazy. Great uh, piece she has in the Players' Tribune, too. And then, of course, the Mystics, Elena Deladon. I mean, all superstars going at it in the postseason. Anyone's game for sure. All right. Jenna Limoncelli has put us on notice on for the Connecticut Sun. Thanks for uh, taking your time out and joining us. Thanks, Brandon.